In today's video, I want to showcase a really cool thing that I myself learned about a week ago from Paul Hudson, and that's how to handle plurality in strings in SwiftUI. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below, open up Xcode, and let's jump right in. We're going to create a very simple Swift UI project. I'm going to call it plurality. Hopefully, I spelled that right. Make sure it's Swift and SwiftUI. Toss it wherever you'd like. I'm going to paste in some starter code that I have for myself. Let me just expand this window here. And we'll talk about a super cool thing that I can't believe I didn't know existed. So here we have some very basic code on the uh, left hand side. I'll bump up that font size. And we have a count and essentially add and remove button. And on the right hand side, we can see one person, and if I do add, it just increments the number, nothing too crazy going on there. Let me just make the font here a little bigger. So traditionally what people do is whenever you have strings like this, you'll end up using some very basic logic, perhaps a ternary operator where you will kind of go ahead and do something as follows. So you'll say if count is greater than uh, one, here you are going to say people, otherwise you'll do something along the lines of person. And this gets pretty uh, intricate when you have certain kinds of strings and you have this like janky check across your entire project. So this certainly works, but what happens if we go to negative two? Is it negative two person? I know negative isn't that common, but let me show you something really cool that Paul had shared very recently that I just think is awesome. So. SwiftUI has a feature, and I don't know if this actually applies to UIKit, but what you can do is you can wrap uh, your account here inside of brackets and a caret that you start it with, and then in parentheses, you are going to say inflect uh, colon true, and inside of these brackets, go ahead and put whatever thing you want to apply the plurality to. So here we have person, and on the right, we'll see the same thing, but if I hit add, Boom, we get two people. Where on earth is people coming from? Well, it turns out the framework actually handles this for you. And the reason I've been extra blown away by this is it's not only, you know, some words, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of words and it's also handling conversion of the words and adding plurality. So let me give you some examples. Um, I feel like I'm way too excited about this, but vocabulary, it's cool. So we've got person here. Let's try to do company. And let me also do deer as in the animal. So here, if we hit add, you'll see that it correctly interprets company to companies, person to people, and deer to deer, because that is the plural of deer, a single deer. That's going to get confusing really fast. So this is super cool. Um, I'm, I'm shocked that more people don't know about this, presumably because it's this like string-esque API. If there was a type safe API in the in the sense of like a modifier, perhaps maybe something along the lines of like handle plurality, I feel like it would be far more visible to people and just awareness would be better. But Paul Hudson had shared this. I'll link his original video down below. I wanted to amplify it, get it out there to as many people as possible. Super duper cool. Um, shout out to Paul for sharing it. Drop a like down below if you didn't know this. Go check out Paul's video as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're into iOS, tweet, share, LinkedIn, other social buzzwords. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.